So does plastic wrap actually remove cork taint, TCA? I'm gonna put this to the test. That's all coming up. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Exotic Wine Travel. I am your host, Matthew Horky. Welcome back to the show where we help you drink adventurously so you can expand your palate and expand your mind. Today, I'm hopefully gonna expand some palettes because I'm gonna try to solve a corked bottle of wine with plastic wrap. I've seen this little trick before, but I don't know if it works. We're gonna test it out and see here today. If you don't know what it means to have a corked bottle of wine, I did a video previously about what corked wine is, what TCA is. I'll link that up here in the description box below. So what will you need for this trick? You'll need a corked bottle of wine, a decanter or some kind of pitcher, and some plastic saran wrap. I usually hate using plastic or buying this kind of stuff, but I made the sacrifice and I went out there and bought some of this specifically for you today. <laughs> okay, let's give this a go. If you didn't see the previous video, I told you I did a tasting and I came across a corked bottle of wine. Uh, fortunately, the producer sent me two bottles here, so the second bottle was not corked. I was able to evaluate properly, but thanks to this producer, I was I'm gonna be able to do this video. Like I said in the previous video, it's not the producer's fault that the wine is corked. It's a cork manufacturer's problem. So let's give this a go here. I've never done this before. I've never tried. So let's see how it, if it actually works. First, I got to make sure that I get this out evenly. The thing with plastic wrap or foil, if you don't get if you don't get it evenly unwrapped, then it's going to take you forever to uh, get this <laughs> correct. Now I remember why I don't use this stuff. I think I already tore. I think I already tore it. Okay, supposed to put this little plastic saran wrap in a ball, put it in there. I don't know if that's enough. Now the thought process behind that, this is that the plastic soaks up or attracts that molecule, TCA, trichloroanisole. It's supposed to leave the wine tasting better. Let's actually see. So we have the pitcher, I have the plastic wrap, now it's time to dump in that bottle of wine. I'm going to keep some in the bottle so we can do a taste test between the saran wrap bottle, the corked bottle, and the uncorked bottle. Now we wait. Okay, why well, wait a little bit longer, I'll start pouring the wine. So, you know, I did in the previous video, what does corked wine actually taste like? A lot of times pe that people say it tastes like cardboard, wet basement, wet dog. I don't know where the wet dog comes from, but we're going to see if it starts to get... I know that for me, uh, I started to notice it, it does, it actually smells mostly like dry cardboard, if, especially if you tear the cardboard in half and smell it. That's what I think corked wine does. It takes away some of the fruit, some of the aromas, and it takes away a lot of the pleasure. People have different tolerances to it. I've heard some wine people say actually they don't mind TCA when it's in port wine. So thank goodness I have my trusty Corvin. You can learn more about the, the Corvin. I have some videos on this. I put, I'll put a link in the description box. But, non-corked wine here. This wine, by the way, is a Fiano from uh, Campania in Italy. It's, I, I, for me, it's one of my favorite indigenous white grapes in all of Italy. Okay, maybe I just start out with the corked wine first. The thing with corked wines, a lot of times as they air, they start to become more and more corked and more unpleasurable. Ugh. Let's do the uncorked wine here. Much brighter, much more expressive. Let's try the one in saran wrap now. So does this actually work? I'm gonna have to say, I was skeptical of this little test, but the, uh, the saran wrap worked to a certain extent. It took away some of those cardboardy flavors. It obviously was not even close to as pleasurable as the real wine, but it was not as terrible as the corked wine. So my suggestion, if you bought your wine at the restaurant or, or at the wine shop, just take it back and get another bottle. I hope you like this video. Let me know in the comment section below. Has this worked for you before? I'd love to know. And I will see you at the next episode.
Hello, thanks for watching. Hey, you made it to the end. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell so you know when new videos are out. If you like content like this, check out our Patreon page where you get some behind the scenes exclusive content. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers.